Okay, so this is the MD80 Mini DV camera. Tiny little camera. Looks pretty well made, really. Um, comes with a whole host of accessories. Mains charger, which has, has got some kind of flat pins plug on it, which is, I guess, made for Hong Kong. Never mind, you can, it charges with the USB, which is not shown here with the accessories, but it comes with all kinds of brackets. Bracket for mounting on a wall or something. Just camera just clips into it. Little silicon, silicon wallet for it. Another bracket where you can clip it onto something, a lanyard. This is a useful little thing. You clip the camera into that and you can clip it on a jacket or something. Uh, that's the driver disc and the packaging. Um, Now the manufacturers say that um, it'll go two hours on a charge. As I say, it charges through the USB at the bottom there. Um, in fact, the best I've had is about an hour, and a four gig micro four gig micro card would do just about 53 minutes. Um, the micro card goes in here, slots into there. It's only got a couple of buttons on it. One says power, which, as as you'd imagine, turns it on and off. This says mode, and the button on the top starts recording. It's got two modes. You can either turn it on, press record, and it will record, or you can press mode, and it will be in a standby mode, and will be sound activated. Uh, quite a nice, nice little bit of kit anyway. But the way I mounted it and used it on my motorbike video was, if I can find the bracket, and I can't, Where's the bracket gone? I just made a little bracket out of some sheet metal. You could use a bit of aluminium. Use the clip, this clip. I can say the camera just clips in like so. Clips in like so. On my crash helmet, I slid this down the side, slid this bracket down the side of the helmet, which tucks in quite nicely here, mounted the camera, just like so. On the bracket. In fact, I mounted the camera first, clipped it on, tucked that in like so. It doesn't look quite right because the angle's not right. Anyway, with a bit of fiddling around, I managed to get it so it was actually pointing exactly the way that my eyes were pointing. And um, as I say, with a four gig card, I got about 53 minutes um, filming, at which point the battery dies anyway. So there's not a lot of point going for an eight gig card. Uh, some of the websites say that you're better off using a class four card because the write speed's better, but I don't know how much difference it makes. So like I say, there's the, there's the camera mounted just on the side of my helmet. And now oh, I should say the, um, the instructions that are on in a Word document on the driver disc are absolutely useless. They talk about a yellow flashing light and all kinds of things. In fact, when you plug in the USB, it goes in, it starts charging. There's a blue light on this model, which flashes until it's charged, which takes about an hour or hour or so. Um, when it's in standby mode, there's a red light that you can see flashing on the top. Quite hard to see in the daylight, but um, that means it's in standby mode. It's flashing quite quickly. When you when it's in record mode, it flashes slowly. But like I say, the lights are quite difficult to see in the daylight. Um, not much else I can say about it, really. So, oh, there's a reset reset button on the side if it all goes pear shaped and decides to stop working you just stick a little pin in that hole on the side okay anyway i hope you enjoy the um motorbike video okay here we go